Okay, so let's talk about YouTube. Basically, I just got flagged or one of my brand accounts that I don't use ended up getting flagged for a community violation that I don't even know what it is. Now, let me give you some backstory. So basically, the account that was flagged while I'm pulling up the email about this account being taken down. Um, so basically, the account was a brand email that I was like, I was basically trying to transfer my email, uh, my, I was trying to transfer my YouTube account from one email to another. And I was just testing things around and I needed, I don't know, I just ended up making the account just for whatever, just because I was trying to test a few things. Anyway, let me go ahead and pull up the screen here on what is supposed to be shown. Okay, not that, it was on the right screen, let me just go ahead and put that back. Okay, so, here, this is the email that I received from YouTube after trying to appeal my account. This is, basically, this is just the brand account that I had while I was trying to transfer over my email, and now it has been terminated for a YouTube, for a YouTube community violation that I still have no clue what it is. Now, I do still have my channel right here, so that's all good. Now, the only thing is, this worries me. This worries me because this is honestly the second time this has happened to me. YouTube's, basically, their system to find community violations is, and excuse my language, fucking terrible. It is terrible, their system, how they manage to find these false positives on multiple occasions on these accounts. Now, let me just put a quick reminder. I never used this account. This account never had any uploads, never changed since ever. I never ever used this. And here it is getting terminated for a random community violation that <laughs> YouTube won't even tell me what it is. I went through this. Hi, Cousin Beef. We have reviewed your content and found severe repeated violations on our community guidelines. What repeated violations did you find when I never use this account? I rarely ever even look at it. I never log into it. I mean, I just don't use it. It's just sitting there, and now it's been terminated for repeat violations. Unless that account has been hacked, I have no clue. And to be honest, YouTube never told me that I was hacked, so... Or not YouTube, Google never told me that I was hacked, so this is bullshit. Because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. We know this is probably very upsetting news. I mean, I don't use this channel, so it's not very upsetting. But it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. Yet, here you are, making this a less safe place, and even making your biggest YouTubers angry at you. The biggest people who make your company, your corporation, what it is today, is basically turning their backs on you, and calling you out for the very things that you cannot contain on your own platform. And this isn't even just YouTube, this is almost every platform. Every platform, every corporation is using the cheapest assets to find these little community violations. I mean, TikTok is a great example. TikTok's community violations are still terrible today. People are getting banned out of the blue for shit they didn't do. If we think a channel severely violates our policies, we take it down to protect the to protect other users on the platform. But if you believe uh, we've made a wrong call, you can you can appeal this decision. You'll find more information about the policy in question and how to submit an appeal below. What our policy said. Uh. Content that violates YouTube terms of service that encourages others to do uh, to do is not allowed on YouTube. 
Uh, this includes posting content previously removed for violating terms of service or posting content from creators who are currently restricted or have been terminated under our terms. I never did either. So this is... This is basically stating that my account has been hacked. Now let me just say, I, I basically skimmed through this. I never actually read this properly. This is honestly my first time reading this, so... Yeah. Uh, how we find violations or how you find your bullshit. Uh, we use a combination of automated systems. Like I said, automated systems. That is a massive no-go when it comes to finding these violations because these automated systems end up making decisions by themselves. And let's, th let's just put this to a Discord side. You know what happens when you give a trial moderator uh, ban privileges? a trial moderator who has never been moderator on any other Discord server, they start banning people out of the blue for the littlest of reasons. Some guy said, fucking chat, ban. That's it. And that's basically what this is. This is the equivalent. You're putting, a, basically, an idiot. You are putting an idiot in charge of protecting an entire platform. Now, these automated systems, uh, content is removed or restricted on YouTube, basically just all of this. Uh, our automated systems use machine learning, they aren't fucking learning at all, which allows them to use data from previous human reviews to identify potential uh, violative content. Most of our systems are continuously supplied with millions of data points from human reviews. This means our automated systems can offer a high level, a high level of accuracy in detecting violations. Bullshit. Okay, now we're getting out of hand, so let's just go back to this. Why does this worry me, like I said before? So, the reason why this worries me is... One, because this isn't the first time this has happened. This has actually happened on my main account before. If you go into my community or somewhere, I, I remember posting it somewhere here um, that my account was taken down. I remember posting it somewhere. Um, yeah, it's pretty deep in here. Okay. Um, but anyway, you, you get it. I ended up posting it in there that the account was taken down because actually the the main email on here was banned from YouTube. It was actually banned from all of Google for whatever reason. Or was it all of Google or was it just... I, I don't remember. It was a while ago. It was like last year that it happened. So my main account, my, my main email to access this YouTube account was banned. For whatever reason, I was never told why it was banned, just like YouTube always does, because they don't tell you shit. I mean, just convict someone and not tell them what they're being charged with. Let's put that in real perspective, that's illegal. In real perspective, that is illegal, an officer cannot do that, so why is YouTube doing that? It just doesn't make sense. Not that it's going to punish them, but it just doesn't make sense that they don't do that. They aren't going to get punished for not telling you because it, it doesn't really affect them too much. They're a corporation. So whatever they do just goes because it doesn't affect too many people. But anyway, it still just doesn't make sense that they just take down your stuff and not tell you why. I mean, this gives you a very vague reason. It is very vague. At least on other platforms like TikTok, they at least give you a better reason why you were banned. They give you a better reason why something was taken down. I mean, if a video was taken down, it actually states on it why. For example, there's guns in the video. Okay? TikTok doesn't like guns, so they're going to take it down and they're going to tell you they took it down because it looks like there's violent weapons showing inside the video. So, yeah. This, this is all just bullshit. Now, this worries me because since it was a brand account that was taken down, not sure if I have it here. Yeah, I, it's not even here anymore. So, it was a brand account that was taken down. And this worries me 
for the reason that this is this very account is also connected to the same email which possibly means that this my youtube channel is most likely going to be flagged as well and same thing with this account and pretty much all my other accounts it said that i wasn't able to create any more that's my email if you ever want to use it um sure whatever Huh. It really doesn't allow me to make a, a thing. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's why. It, it's because I already have an account on it, so, yeah. There's already an account on it. If I ever want to use it, I just have to make a, another brand account. That's a longer process. I don't want to go through that. Even if I'm going to make a brand account, I'm not even going to use it. So, yeah, it just worries me that this is being... This is being flagged. It worries me for that because if this is flagged, this is going to get taken down as well. And most likely, it's going to end up the same way as this. I tried appealing the account and I even stated I was not told why it was taken down. I've never used the account and I don't know why they're taking it down, yet they just take it down on their own terms. They say they've reviewed it carefully, they've had a person review it, because it took a good... how long? So this was posted at 1849 today, and this was posted on October 9th, so it took them about a day to get to it. it took them about 24 hours to get to it. And this basically, I would have to assume that it was reviewed by a human. Because it even says on the appeal that it takes uh, like one or two business days to do it. Um, yeah, Google review it as soon as possible. Mostly, most of the time takes up to two business days. Um, yeah. So, there is a high possibility that this is going to get flagged for whatever reason that the brand account got flagged for. And that worries me. And I honestly don't want it to happen. So I'm not entirely sure what to do at this point. Do I create a new account just as a backup account in case YouTube fucks up again? Or do I just bite the bullet and carry on from that? I honestly don't know from there. Eh, 